Well, hello guys and welcome to Rosalie's Kitchen. You know, I'm the author of Rosalie's Servant Country, and that's my country book. It's a new release, and Rosalie's Servant Italian. And today, I'm going to make something that should be in this book, but it isn't. I'm going to make in Yogi's Italian Little Dumplings. And actually, this recipe is going to be in my new book, if I ever get it going here. So, maybe you can come in and help me today. These are wonderful little potato in yokis. My mother used to make these. And we're going to make that wonderful chicken and yoki soup. Just like you get at Olive Garden, only I think mine's going to be better, I hope. Well, we're going to start out with about a pound of russet potatoes. And you can just weigh them on your uh, scale there, or just be sure to get two nice big ones. And pop those in the microwave. Just poke them all over with your fork and pop them in the microwave for about... Uh, eight minutes and then they're going to look just like this and these are hot and ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our potatoes and we're going to cut them into this bowl and we're going to mash them. Don't mash them with an electric mixer. They'll become glue and then you can put them on the wall and paste up your wallpaper. So you don't want to do that. So you want to go ahead and put the potatoes right in here and then what we're going to do is we're going to have a beaten egg, which we do. And we're going to just start with a whisk and go ahead and mash those up. And we've got one beaten egg right here. You can see that. And we're going to add to that beaten egg a teaspoon of salt. And we're going to add a fourth teaspoon. And you can add a half if you like a little bit more ground black pepper, but we're going to add a fourth teaspoon of that. We're going to go ahead and add a teaspoon, or about, about a teaspoon of butter, and we're going to put that in there, and we're going to keep on mashing. We're going to add our egg mixture, the salt, and the pepper. And we're just going to mix that up together, and the potatoes are nice and warm, and they're soft, and it's all going together beautifully. So we're just going to remove this, and now we're going to go ahead and put those potatoes right out here on your board, just like that. And we're going to go ahead and just get that out of there so that we can add our flour. We're going to add about a three-fourths cup of flour to this mixture. And the, the whole trick about this deal is, I thought we got those that butter in, but maybe we didn't. We'll just move it in there. Okay. And the whole thing about this is you don't want to actually uh, work this dough very much. You just want to get it nice and airy and wonderful in your soup. Now we're going to sprinkle our three-fourths cup of flour right over the top. And we're going to work it all in together. And believe it or not, it's going to come together just like this dough that I have right over here to the right of me. And that was what I had prepared earlier to make our gnocchi so that I could show you those. And so what we're going to do is we're going to move this on off onto our board so we have a little bit more leverage here to work with. Okay, we had that on some wax paper. So this goes together beautiful. You'd say, oh my goodness, how's the potatoes and the flour going to go together? But it will, and as you can see, it's coming together right now. And it's great, soft and wonderful and pliable. Look at that dough. Oh my goodness, isn't that beautiful? So there's no guessing here. You want to sprinkle just a little bit of flour on your board. And now you're going to take off a chunk of this dough. And we could even use some that we've had let sit for a while. It is good if you can let it sit for about an hour. And then we're going to just cut off some little pieces to make our dumplings. And then you want to just roll them in your hand for a ball. And you're going to take your little tin, and this is the mark of a real gnocchi, Italian style. And just use your little tin there on the fork so you've got that little mark because that's actually going to hold the sauce. And that's how easy it is, guys. Now, come on back for the soup part. Oh my goodness. This is a taste experience you've been waiting for. See you in a minute. Bye.
Well, here we are back, guys. And we're sauteing chicken breast in a fourth cup of butter and about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And we've used about two good cloves of our garlic. We've chopped that fine. And if you'll just get some chicken breast, about two of them, skinless, look like this. Cut it up fine and put it up, not fine, but just chop it for your soup. And just go ahead over here in your electric skillet and saute that chicken in the garlic. Can you see that garlic in there? Some pieces of garlic right there. Oh my goodness, this is so good. It smells wonderful. And then give it just a little bit of a zip of your um, nice um, crushed coarse salt and your pepper. And make sure that the chicken is fully cooked, no pink in it. And then we're going to come back and we're going to add our vegetables. Oh my goodness, I can't wait till you taste it. Now this looks looking good. I don't see any pink in the chicken. We're going to add our celery. That is a half a cup and a half a cup of shredded carrots. Don't those look pretty? Wow, I can just smell it. It's so wonderful. All right, we're going to let that cook together now about five minutes. Vegetables are looking great. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. Okay, let's pour about 14 ounces, almost two cups of this uh, Kitchen Basics wonderful chicken broth. Chicken stock, can't get any better than that, guys. Well, let's pour that right in and let that simmer about five minutes. All right, well, everything's looking so good. Good chicken stock, the celery, the carrots, and the sauteed chicken breast. Now we're going to add one whole quart of our half and half. This is going to make the soup very tasty. And this is a delicate soup. Shouldn't be too thick, but it should be uh, just thick enough that it'll coat your tongue. All right. We're going to bring that to a boil, and then we're going to add our yokies. All right. All right, we're back, guys. Now this is a real important step. Notice how the cream is bubbling. It has to bubble for these little yolks to cook. So we're just going to scoot them right in there and give them about, they take about two and a half to three minutes. Then they'll just bubble right up at the top. Then we're going to add our cheese and our spinach and we'll be done. All right. All right, well look at these boiling and see how they came to the top. Oh, the Great little dumplings are so light and wonderful. We're going to top this off with about a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. And then we're going to add our loosely about packed about probably a cup of spinach leaves. Not too many, but just enough to give it a good taste. And there's our soup, guys. Chicken and yaki soup. Oh my goodness, doesn't it look beautiful? And how about dessert tonight? Lemonade pie. you got to look for this recipe, it's right on my newsletter. Just click rosalieservin.com and you'll find me. Well, come on over for supper tonight. Chicken and yaki soup with cheese and oh, let's put a little bit of black pepper. Don't forget that. That's really important. You want some good crushed black pepper and I think we need a little bit more of our wonderful coarse sea salt. Well, that ought to do it. Oh man, that looks good. I think I'm just going to have to have a little bite right now. Oh, so good. See you in a bit. Have fun.